Joe in real life. All right. I had a super weird <laughs> and embarrassing and upsetting dream last night about the band Arch Spire. Um, I don't even want to tell this story. I, I'm going to try and summarize it so that I, it, I don't know. And to the band, if they were to watch this, which I don't know why they would, uh, I, I'm sorry in advance. But um, there was some kind of like pandemic, right? And they were all sick. They were all like deathly ill, the band. And people were selected to play a live show. And I was selected for some reason, which is ridiculous because I'm a terrible guitar player. And I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Um, so anyway, I had to play Dean Lamb's guitar part. Um, and the reason it's Dean Lamb is because I've been watching his YouTube videos. Um, I'm not a guitar nerd at all. Like, I like to play a little guitar, but that's it. But he makes these videos with him and his girlfriend, and they play riffs. And they play a lot of music I like. And, um, and they're really cute together, and they're just fun to watch. And I don't have to justify myself to you. <laughs> all right? We all go down weird YouTube rabbit holes. So that's a, that's a thing that's been happening to me, you know? And anyway, in this apocalyptic vision, um, I had to play Dean's part, and there were other strangers. And we all, we had a show in three days. And everyone else who was selected learned their parts. Super fast, super easy, not a problem at all. But I was stuck. I couldn't, I couldn't play even the first song, Drone Corpse Aviator, at 50%. I had this, like, computer program that tried to teach me the part, and I couldn't even play it at 50% speed. And I was getting so frustrated, man. I was getting so upset. Like, almost a whole day of practice, and I couldn't even get 50%. And then Dean Lamb sent me a video, and he was like, you're, you're trying to play at the lowest level you think you can play at, and you keep hitting a wall. Don't do that. Play at the lowest level possible and build slowly. Like, like play it at 1%, you know? And then when you get it, play it at 2%, play it at 3%, and keep doing that until you get to a point where it tips. And it will, it will tip. It, it won't seem like it's going to, but it will. Which, uh, Dean, I don't know if that's advice that you'd actually give, or, you know, I'm pretending you're watching this right now, but uh, that's fucking hella good advice, dude. <laughs> I guess I gave that advice to me. You know? Um, so I started doing that, right? 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%. And it was so boring and so tedious and so frustrating that I, I cried. I, I straight up cried about it. And I cried in a dream about it, but I know I cried in real life too. <laughs> you know? It's one of those situations where it's that real earthy, organic, physical kind of crying. And I'm sure I was laying in bed crying. I'm sure of it. Um, right around 15%, sure enough, it tipped. And then I, I jumped to 50, 60, 70, 80. This was only like one minute of the song. Um, and then I got it. And I was happy for a second but then I realized it was like one minute of one song and there were like 29 minutes to go and I was down to two days to get it done. And then this uh, awful wave of panic just swept over me and that's where the dream ended. So that's my Arch Spire Bleed the Future dream that I had last night. So why is it important? Well. It's late in the day right now. It's like 10 a.m. or something. I, um, 9 a.m. Like, I slept late. And this morning, while I was sleeping in, I had another dream. And it, 
This was like I was asleep and awake. Hypnagogic. I couldn't think of the word for a second. Um, and I was thinking about my injury. And I was thinking about the dream that I had and how embarrassing it was. And kind of like another part of my brain. Like a compartmentalized voice. Like a spirit, maybe. Was like... That dream is trying to tell you something about the problem you're facing now. And it's not about Arch Spire. It's about your injury. And you keep trying to do what you can as best you can. And what you need to do is go to the, to the simplest possible thing you can do. And do it as well as possible. And then incrementally add until it tips. Well, like I said, that's pretty good advice. Um, it doesn't make for great YouTube content, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? But suffice. After this long story, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something like that. And I don't know what exactly what it looks like yet. Then I'm still going to do my burpees. I'm still going to hang to my daily minimum. But I need to stop re trying to rebuild at the level that I think I'm at. And way undershoot it. And rebuild methodically from there. Until I hit a tipping point. Um, so that's my current plan. I'm going to keep doing laps around my cul-de-sac. Then I'm going to do a little jog. And I'm going to get to it. So that's my embarrassing dream. <laughs> Stay tuned for, for squats. Right? Gripping. <laughs> so humiliating fantasy teenage band camp nightmare. Notwithstanding. This is what I was able to muster today. I did low bar back squats, one rep, four weights, just coming up to my daily minimum. That's it, that's all I dared do. Yesterday I felt pretty good. Yesterday I felt like I was on the mend, getting somewhere. The sharpness in my groin was still there, but it wasn't intense, you know? Uh, so I ran and I ran pretty well and I burpeed and I burpeed pretty well. And then I had that front squat, man, and it did not send my body any of the right signals. Uh, I got a little too excited, and I knew it, and I, I got lazy with my structure and my integrity. Um, and yeah, you know, it's still not serious. It's not bad, but it's not good. And today, like, here's what I'm not going to compromise on. I will do my burpees every day and I will hit my daily minimum until I can't like that's just a non-negotiable thing you know I worked up to 185 I got it for one all set plenty good you know um, is that a super smart strategy I mean no it, it clearly isn't but I made, that, I made that commitment, and I can't back out of it. Not at 200 and whatever days I'm at. That's just not, that's not a possible thing. So, here we are. Now, as to the point that I kind of went off about earlier, I do think I need to rebuild. I need to rebuild from the ground up. I need to stop guessing at what I think I'm capable of, way undershoot what I'm capable of, and rebuild from there. Part of why I think this is happening is because, ironically, I'm making progress. And um, that progress glosses over some very real holes, you know, that I can get away with for a long time, but that ultimately will be exposed eventually. And perhaps I should be lucky, I feel lucky and grateful that it got exposed in this minor way rather than getting stapled to the floor with 300 pounds on my back. Anyway, that's where I'm at today, guys. Thanks for listening. I'm certain this was a humiliating 
<laughs> thing for you to have to listen to. Um, I think I'm going to do a 48 hour fast later this week, uh, right before my birthday. I haven't done 48 hours in forever. But anyway, this is Joe in real life. I love you guys. Be good to each other today. And I'm going to try hard to do the same.